Hello and welcome back for a new lesson. Today, we are going to build an overvoltage protection solution by using only a few hardware components. This is very important for your system if you are using variable input power supply that would go to higher levels beyond the limits of your system. So let's get started. One common solution consists of a Zener diode and a small bipolar junction transistor. We can select the protection threshold by selecting the breakdown voltage of the Zener diode. When the input voltage will reach the breakdown voltage, the Zener diode will start passing current that partially goes to the base of the junction transistor and gets activated. The principle of the circuit is to provide a digital signal when the voltage exceeded a certain limit. This information can be, for instance, used by the microcontroller to deactivate something and or trigger a warning signal. Let's simulate this example using LT Spice. The circuit is already drafted here to save your time. Here we are using a variable input power supply to check the behavior of the circuit between 0 volt and 16 volts. In this example, I selected the protection threshold of 12 volts. As you can see, on LT Spice, you can select different Zener diodes with different breakdown voltage already in the library. Let's launch the simulation. As you can see, the output digital signal is at 5 volts when the input voltage is lower than 12 volts, but once the 12 volts limit is reached, the signal goes down to 0 volts. In the world of electronics, we call this active low signal. Once input voltage goes below the threshold set in this circuit, which is 12 volts, the output digital signal comes back automatically to its normal value, which is 5 volts. Another example using Zener diode. Here we suppose you want to cut the power supply and not only provide the information to the microcontroller. This is based on Zener diode and two NPN bipolar transistors. In this example, the threshold is also set to 12 volts. When the input supply goes higher than 12 volts, the transistor Q1 opens the circuit and protects the load. When the voltage goes back to safe values, the Q1 closes the circuit autonomously. Congratulations! Now you became an expert of overvoltage protection. If you love this lesson, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see my other videos. See you soon!